I'm going to duplicate layer, and then I'm going to select the lower layer of her picture. I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then I'm going to jack it up to like probably 50. You'll see what this will do. Let's see if uh, has to load, load, load. Here we go. See, so kind of has that blurred gray or blur color glow thing around her. And I think that looks very cool, especially for like female things like that. Um, I'm gonna hide the higher image. That's the lower image of her. It's just basically I blew it. I, blurred the picture really, really bad, and then I have the good picture over it so that all you see is the glowing around her. Um, I'm not doing that with them because uh, this this render, I want to stand out a little bit more than uh, these two. Um, and then, let me think. One more render. Yeah, why not? I'm going to use this one because... I don't remember the game very well, but I think that she's a bad guy. So, why not have a little bad guy in there? Erase the uh, render signature. Select it. Copy it. Minimize it. Select a new layer. Paste it in. Now, obviously, her picture is way too small. So, again, we need to scale it up. Move her to kind of back there. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to put her. Paste her in. Lower her to so that she's under the other, those other layers. And voila. Now she's back there. I'm also going to drop her occupancy down to probably about 75. There. Just gives her a little bit of darkness, a little bit of afterthought. Now, in order to this, this obviously needs more life, more kick, right? So I'm just gonna hide all the layers that have pictures on them, and I'm just gonna put some, you know, cool, fiery-looking colors and stuff like that onto this uh, this background right here, and. I have, like I said, I have around, I think it's about 2,000, 3,000 different kinds of brushes. Um, I honestly don't really know what all of them do. So, I just kind of normally select a random one, use some colors, I'm going to make it kind of a reddish, goldish, uh, kind of like there. And I'm just going to throw that right there. Of course, for some reason it's not actually coming up. I might have the wrong layer selected. Yeah, I do. That's why. Okay. Um, better undo that real quick. Okay. There we go. Ah, I see. This just adds a little bit of backgroundy sparkly crap. Which is good. Backgroundy sparkly crap is always useful. And then. Use my uh, grunge brushes. Just use them to put just a little bit of extra color into the background. And then I'm also going to use some edge brushes. And, uh, just kind of perk things up a little bit. And you can control the size of your brushes by using the scale. This one I'm going to make fairly large. I'm going to put it right here. Voila. Uh, let's do another brush. This time, let's make it more red. There we go. Have it kind of spraying off like that. And this is basically just what I do until I'm happy with the image. I, uh, I'll i play around with, you know, backgrounds and coloring and stuff like that for, I don't know, anywhere from like, you know, 
30 minutes to, you know, five and a half hours. It just completely depends on how much time I have and how much patience I'm willing to put into a render like this. Um, one interesting thing you can do with things like your brushes and stuff like that is just because it's named like um, water or sparkles or bullet holes or whatever doesn't actually mean you have to use it in that context. Like this one, this is a lightning brush, actually. Now I'm going to make a really dark red. And then I'm just going to pop right back there. See? And it just adds, you know, cool, creepy-looking, streaky stuff to it. It's not actually looking like lightning, but it's still just looks cool. Um, the same thing with things like my uh, water brushes. Depending on how you use the water brush, it, uh, it might come out completely different than if you used it a different way. Um, this one I'm actually going to make kind of a bluish. Kind of like that. And then Let's see what that looks like. It looks like nothing. Oh, that's interesting. I think it's loading. There we go. Okay. You see? And then that's like, you know, major overkill. So I'm going to delete that. But anyways, you can, you can use different things like that. And for the sake of this tutorial, that's all I'm going to do. Um, and that's really basically all I do. I will then save it as a certain kind of file. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna flatten this image. Just go to image and then flatten, and it pushes all the layers into one one layer. Uh, file, save as, and then you know, random dot for something like this I do it as a JPEG because it uh, takes less data to do it as a JPEG than it does like a GIF or something. Um, I have both uh, Photoshop and GIMP. I use GIMP more though because I've had it longer and I have better brushes for it and things. But um, this is what I do. If anyone would like to request uh, tutorials on other other subjects please let me know and I will be happy to accommodate uh, in the comment or in in the in description of this there will be a link to render planet those are it's the render website that I use in order to get my renders and stuff like that if anybody would like to request that I make a signature or a background for them please feel free to PM me uh, also please uh, rate and comment this video and I hope this helps uh, have a nice day and God bless and the funny things, it has no end I try to call you up at 2am In a crowded bar, your ring of tones Grab my mind, I can see you through the vum The vum, the vum And I'm wide awake at home At home, at home Sitting I'll see my coquette And hope you don't catch The bourbon on my breath My breath, 